Hello friends, Tanya here with another video for Trinity Stamps. And today I am doing some slim line seam building. I'm going to make a baby card. We're going to start out, start out with the Puffy Clouds stencil. And I'm going to stencil this on some colored cardstock. Now I'm showing you with a green cardstock. But this card is going to be made with a blue cardstock. I just happened to um, not film the blue. However, I've got this footage of the green, so I thought I'd share that. I am using the back of my Misty to hold the cardstock and the stencil still with some magnets and some shark tooth white uh, pigment ink to create the clouds. And I'm also using a blue ink that matches, it's a distress oxide blue ink to match the cardstock. And then next we're going to use the Hometown Parade stamp set that has coordinating dies to fit all of the images. And the sentiments all fit in this adorable banner. There are four sentiments in this stamp set. And all four, to, four of them do indeed fit inside of that banner. We are using the Welcome Little One for this card. This is what they all look like, stamped, colored, and die cut. And I had colored all of these image off screen and um, die cut them with the coordinating dies. And here I'm just showing you how I layer them with the co uh, coaster blank. We're also going to use a couple of already existing uh, slimline series dies, the scalloped dies and the stitched dies. And I cut the scalloped from some shimmery white cardstock. And I'm going to create a background for this uh, cloudy stenciled piece, which I cut out with the stitched um, panels, slimline stitched panels dies. And I did put coaster blanks behind this particular piece. I think this is probably the smallest one. Then we're going to take these slimline seam building dies or slimline scenic border dies there that's what they're called there's a hill and there's a grassy slope and they both have a curve to them and the curve matches each other I do love that and they have stitching details I did cut out a long strip of each of these with the border die and then I came back and cut them with the stitched die to match the cloudy puffy clouds um, panel that I had created earlier. Now we're going to take all of these colored images and glue those to the card base also. For the banner I did not put coaster blank behind all of it because I wanted to tuck it behind that little parade um, well, what do you call that? A parade booth? Float! That's the word. Parade float. So we're going to glue all of those down. Um, and there is this adorable little fish bowl that fits on top of the float. We've got a cute little pig who I'm going to have carry a balloon. We've got a drumming goose or duck, however you want to color him. And an adorable little hippo who we're going to add some little details to also. I did not put coaster blank behind all of the, behind the string on the balloon either. This little duck or goose, you could have a cute little band around his neck. I just chose to color that like the, um, like he's holding on, like it's part of the drum. And our hippo has some cute little uh, pom-poms streamers however you want to uh, make those I did not include the bicycle on this or the ball or any of those other details but I do love how this turned out it's adorable I did have some extra images and I am going to glue those to the inside so we're going to have the little mouse in his car pulling the float with the fish and a balloon on the inside and then we can add whatever sentiment we decide to put in there or maybe just leave more room for a nice note. I think this turned out super cute. I did resist the urge 
to add more embellishments to the front. So this is a nice flat slimline card. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any uh, questions about it, please leave me a comment or just let me know what you liked best about this card. I love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subsi subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and click that subscribe button. And if you're interested in any of the supplies that were used in this video, they are in the description box below. Until next time, bye-bye.